and they ended up getting it to right for a three. Is that what you want? No, not at all. You're talking about a 21% shooter from the outside, from the three-point range. That is not the play that Providence wanted. And both teams have broken down here in terms of strategy. Arizona, by taking shots that they never should have taken, Pop one up. in the part of Dickerson, one in the part of Simon and Terry as well. Both teams winless in overtime games this season. Arizona 0-2, Providence 0-3, and what's really startling about Providence is 0-3. They were outscored in the uh, overtime games 56-23. to I mean, they've been blown out in those three overtime losses. And remember that they do not have Crozier to put in the ball game. He's out of there. They were 10 down with 3.38 remaining, 82-72, and without timeouts. Well, Jim, you started the show talking about the slipper. <laughs> He's going to pick someone's foot. And what Providence a takes the lead in overtime on the putback by Brown. This is a team that's not normally a good offensive rebounding team, but you can see now that they're packing it back in. Thomas, Brown, and Garces can really get up and hammer the board. Bramlett's out of the game, so that hurts Arizona in that regard. Divi. Big, big mistake by Arizona not having the ball in his hands but at the end of regulation. If they lose this game, they'll still be answering questions next year about why they kept coming down and putting up shots yep. with the lead in the last minute. Nice pump fake. Thomas, Simon had an arm in the face. Good defense. Wright saved it, but right to the arms of Bibby ahead, Terry. Arizona in front. Now you see both Thomas and Brown and Garces walking down the floor. That's how tired they are. And Dickerson has been the man on Sham God. Sham God three. Garces again oh, no. puts it back up and in. What a monster game he's having. 16 points, 17 rebounds. 89 all. Three minutes to go in the overtime. There's Dickerson trying to post right up down inside. Right just staying with him. Simon, tough shot, banks it in. We're seeing some great competitors out here today. Simon, as I said before, not a great shooter, but a great scorer. Such a tough kid. Those of you expecting 60 minutes, stay tuned. It'll be coming up after this regional final. Providence and Arizona looking for the Cinderella roll at Indianapolis. And Dickerson has fouled out for Arizona. They have Harris to come in for Dickerson, but now that changes the matchup. Probably puts Terry on Shamgod because Dickerson was guarding him before. Lou Olson wants them all down there. He takes his, is he going to take the timeout? Well, timeout called. And we're waiting for the signal. Kentucky, Minnesota slated to go in one national semifinal. And North Carolina against the winner of this game in the other from Indianapolis. This is the sixth overtime game of the tournament. But you're not to take anything away from the great effort of Providence, but really Arizona put themselves in this kind of position with a lack of thought in what they did on the offensive end of the court in regulation. That was no timeout call, Billy. That was just the period waiting to check in the substitution for the fouled out player. And Arizona has Simon on the court with Bibby. Terry, Harris, and Davison. Garces again. It looked like he had Harris on his back, but they say Garces lost it out of bounds. Arizona has fouled out two starters, Dickerson and Bramlett. Has Garces been out of this game? It seems like he has. We talked about the bad leg he has and how he was limping on Friday, but 
Just the one time they got poked in the eye. Yeah. Wildcats have hit all three of their shots here in the overtime. Leading by one, 220 to go. Simon. And a foul on Providence. And how about Garces coming over there to take away what would have been an easy layup? Simon's got a lane. Nobody realizes oh, because Shen has got his back turned. And there's Garces. Comes all the way across the lane and gets a piece. Like, they call a foul on Derek Brown. I thought it might have been on Garces, and that's it for Brown. So two starters lost on each side, Brown and Crozier for Providence. Can we talk about blocks? I'm going to give you a crazy stat. When you think back to 87, the Providence team, a three-point shooting club, played on the perimeter, Georgetown with all their power. Providence in that game and beating Georgetown to go to the Final Four in 87, Block 10 of Georgetown shots in that game. And before their win in the opener of this tournament against Marquette, Providence had not won a game in the NCAA tournament since the Georgetown regional final victory of 87. Simon gives him a two-point lead. Well, you'd certainly have to favor uh, Arizona in regard to bench strength right now because Providence is going way down the line. Plus, guys like Wright have been on the floor a lot more minutes than normal. Jam God looks like he can play for the today and tomorrow again. He's got great stamina. <laughs> Thomas off on the three, and Harris secures it. Arizona, two minutes to go, two-point lead. They had even a bigger edge in regulation. Up 10 with 3.30 to go. Only to see Providence have a couple of shots at winning the game. Simon has it taken away. Shangod picked his pocket. Two oh, up the what a behind the back dribble. Turned it over, however. He had four Arizona players closing in on him. You, you know what, Jim? He's got it. He's down two. He didn't have to make this that difficult a play. There's the great steal. All he needed was possession. Timeout, Providence. 1.34 remaining in overtime. Arizona ball and Arizona leading by two. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Should have known something zany would happen here today on the 40-year anniversary of North Carolina's triple overtime win against Kansas for the national championship. 57, and you know, Jim, that team wins the national championship by winning two triple overtime games in the Final Four. I'd like to see that repeated by any team. Double up on Simon. Splits the defenders. One twenty to go. Two point lead. And evidently, Lou Olson feels that Simon with the ball being guarded by Thomas, who is tired, is better than having Bibby guarding the ball, or, uh, having the ball being guarded by Wright. Because you notice Simon's been the primary ball handler in this uh, period. Terry open shot. Arizona takes a four point advantage. One minute remaining. One minute. Sham God's got to go back to the strategy he had at the end of regulation, which is to put the ball on the floor. Drive to the basket and just create something. Steps back for a three instead. It's not the answer. Harris for Arizona. Sham got better off, Jim, driving to the basket because he has a good chance of being fouled. He is not a good outside shooter. When you think of Providence there, Sham got taking a three. And you had to... As we saw earlier, Wright taking the shot to end regulation. Shamgod is shooting 20% from three. Wright is shooting 21% from three. We've got their two top scorers, though, on the bench fouled out. Crozier and Brown. Simon to shoot two. Now, if you're Arizona, you want to be back tough half-court defense. And remember that you've got a big enough lead that you don't need to be taking shots the rest of the way. Down five and out of timeouts. Sham God driving. 
Thomas, three, got it! They call it a two, they rule it a two. And a whistle on right. Probably the best thing Wright could do, 20 seconds to go, stop this clock. We had the perfect angle on the Thomas jumper. He had a hand in the face and still delivered but Jimmy the basket. Could, yeah, he couldn't concern himself there because of the clock. He couldn't worry about that three-point line. Here he is. He tries to step back, but both toes are obviously on the line. Jason Terry will shoot two. 70% shooter. Ah! 20 seconds. You talk about pulling teeth for that bench over there. They had this game won. There's Crozier hoping that there may be one more game left for him. At least. Jim got might as well take it right to the basket. Where is he going? Don't have time to be doing any sideways. No, he's got to go right out the basket. Dribbling. It's a two-possession game. Ten seconds to go, right at three. And Simon, no one on him. Arizona starts the celebration. They're heading to Indianapolis and the final four. Very unusual ending, Jim. Arizona wins a game in overtime for the first time this season. And Providence's amazing journey comes up short in OT. It's now all set for Indianapolis. Kentucky, Minnesota, North Carolina against Arizona. North Carolina, Arizona open the year in the Hall of Fame tip-off classic. So now meet at the final four. Ruben Garces, the Chevrolet player of the game. For Providence and Miles Simon with 30 tying his career high for Arizona. Billy, we've got some four teams set. I'll see you next week. Good night, everybody. We're on the road to the final four.